so for the back i'll also be doing the same from here three and half three and a half inches which is here let me mark it well three and a half and then remember i have a slit so now i'll be measuring three and a half from the slit three and a half here so i'll cut it out Split it. Let me split it. So I'll set this aside and then curve it from here to here. Let me just cut it. This is the back facing and i'll set it aside so for the sleeves the sleeves of that dress we have basic sleeve and then gathers you know so now i'm going to place fabric this is the length of this fabric is 16 inches so because i want to cut the front and the back at the same time i'll placing it together like this facing each other front side facing each other so when i'm doing something like this you have to be very careful so you don't cut wrongly when you want to cut, after cutting the back sleeve, you separate this and cut the front sleeve. So my calf's height is three and a half inches, which I'll be marking here. Three and a half. Three and a half. Three and a half. So on this same line, I'll be placing I'll be placing my round armhole divided by two. My round armhole my round armhole is sixteen inches. Divided by two is eight inches. Then remember that I added two inches allowance to my dress. So I'll be adding that two inches to this. So eight inches, eight inches plus two inches that I added. Then I'll be adding half inch to that, making it ten and a half inches. So which is here. So from that ten and a half inches, I'll make a straight line to the beginning of this fabric. So let me quickly do that. Okay. Then I'll get the midpoint of what I just drew. What I drew now is 11 inches and the midpoint is five and a half. So I'll mark it. And at this five and a half inches line, I'll come up by half an inch, half an inch here, half an inch here. And I'll connect it to this line. A slight curve just a slight curve and then from here make a straight line and connect to here so if you have a ruler please use your ruler and that is for the back so for the front now I'm making a curve and connect it to this line not at the top of this half inch but at the bottom so I'll make a curve now And then I'm going to connect this, like make a slight curve and connect it back to here. Okay, so now we have our front and the back armhole. Now remember that this sleeve is high, a high low sleeve. I'll be using 16 inches, which is here. Don't make that mistake, 16 inches. And then this part, which is the outer part of the arm, 
will be nine inches. So let me match it here. On this line, I'll be placing my round armhole measurement. My round armhole measurement on this particular line, which is line is 10 and a half, divided by two is five and a quarter. So here, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter plus sewing allowance of, okay, let me add one inch to that. I'm making it six and a quarter. So five and a quarter plus one inch is six and a quarter. So now I'll connect this to this. But remember, you're going to make this as so. Let me quickly let me just connect this to this first. So now, at this nine inches line here, sorry if you can't see clearly because of the color of the fabric, but just know that this is my six and a quarter inches line. At this point, I'll be making a slash. So remember that this place will be high and this place will be low. So let me let me connect that line. So here, our slash is from here to here. Can you see here to here? And then cut it out. So let me quickly do that. Now I'll cut out my front. So here I have it, the two sleeves, the front and the back together, and I'll set it aside and, and begin the sewing. So let me set this aside now. So guys, I'll start sewing now. And what I'll do, this is the front, front dress, and this is the facing. So I'll take this to the machine and join it quarter of an inch, after which I will notch. And then after notching, I'll top stitch, you know, and I'll do the same to the back. But for the back, I'll be attaching button holes. Let me show you what I mean. So for the back, this is the facing. I'll place the face in front side, facing the fabric. Then I will decide which side I want to add, attach this. This is for the button hole because I'll be attaching three buttons. Here. I'll attach one, two, three with two inches gap for each one of them. So I'll mark it. This one at two inches, at four inches, at six inches. Yeah. So I'll attach three buttons. You can also attach two. It's still fine. It all depends on how you want. So I'll place this. Off. I'll cover it like this like this and then turn it so it will look like this so i will attach it like this let's say this is a two inches point because i'll be adding one here so i'll place it this way and so and when it's time to put here i'll also put it this way and so you just quarter of an inch so it's all the way around down so after that i'll top stitch i'll sew the necklines and top stitch and then let me quickly do that use pin to secure it i've put in three places and now i'll take it to the machine to sew i'll sew all the way here carefully so i don't stitch on it i'll push it in and then sew and make sure that whatever measurement i take here is what i take here as well so this will be equal and then I'll come down here and so let me quickly go to the machine and do that. So I have these buttons that I folded with fabric. I'll be attaching it when it's the right time. I will attach it here and it will be like this. So I'll finish and I'll set this aside and iron the front. Then we can move over to the rest of the dress. This is the front and this is the back. And I'll place it with the front side facing each other. The front sides facing each other. I'll go and join it. This is the sleeve. Sorry, this is the shoulder. 
and this is the facing so I'll, I'll fold it like this i'll put it like this so i'll match it with the stitch make sure that they are at the same point i'll hold it this way and then take this to the machine and join it with quarter of an inch i'll do the same on the other side just understand what i did here back side front side with the facing on one side then i'll match the stitch then fold it this way and then sew it with quarter of an inch down here i'll do the same i'll come and show you so i have joined it here and now it's time to attach the sleeves so this is the front sleeve the front part of the sleeve so i'll place it here i'll get the midpoint and notch it i'll get the midpoint and notch now i'll place it here the notched part i'll place it in the middle here and sew it all the way around down and then i'll do the same to the other side i'll do the same to the other sleeve then i'll come and show you what next to do so guys i've attached the sleeve and this i've also joined the two sides it's just remaining to hem the gown it's just remaining to hem it so now what i'll do is to measure what i have here because i'm going to attach gathers to this place so i'll measure what i have here I have 9 inches so that means I have 18 inches because it's some food so I have 18 inches so guys here I've cut what I will be needing to what I'll be using to gather for the two sleeves so I cut 4 inches by 80 inches so I went 4 times 18 inches is what we got for our circumference but I'm using 4 times of that sim simply because I'm using a soft fabric so because I want the gathers to have volume that's why I'm using 4 times of what i measured but if you're using a fabric that is firm fabric that is strong you can use three times or double of what you measured and another way to also do this is to cut it in form of a flare a 360 flare and then when you're cutting add some inches to your to what you're supposed to cut so that you have enough to gather i don't know if you understand so by the time you do that when you cut that 360 flare you now cut two times and then you can put you can iron stay in between it and then attach it to the sleeve it will still give it a lift it will make it more to give you more volume i'm already out of fabric that is why i did not follow that that's why i did not cut it that way so i'll be gathering this so i'll gather this to the sleeve so but before that i'll take it to the machine and hem it and after hemming i'll gather it and attach it to the sleeve so guys i've attached the sleeves can you see if you have enough fabric if you want to make this dress try to use three yards of fabric so you can you can turn this into a 360 flare then double it and iron stay in between so it will have more volume and it will stand i'm already short of fabric that was why i just used this but it is still fine and beautiful can you see can you see the high low effect you can try to make your own sleeves longer i'll try to insert the picture of me wearing this it's so beautiful i'll finish this off i'll finish all the inner seams with weaving i'll do that later on and i'll secure this facing with tacking i'll tack them on both sides and i'll do the same to the back one then i've attached the buttons as you can see it's so beautiful you can choose to add zipper to your own it's still fine so i've also hemmed the bottom of the dress so guys we have come to the end of this tutorial i hope you learned something new Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.